Today we're going to learn two rules for taking derivatives. The first is called the product rule. And this tells you how to take derivatives of two functions which are multiplied together. For example, x squared times e to the 3x, or natural log of x times the quantity 6x squared minus 8x plus 2. Now this rule you're going to use when you have two functions multiplied together. And we're going to abbreviate this PR for product rule. Now here's what it is in symbols. You want to take derivative of two functions, f times g, and then I'll explain the formula on the next slide. If you call the functions f and g that are being multiplied together, let's call f the first function and g the second function. Now we're trying to take their derivative, and here's what product rule tells you to do. Derivative of the first times the second plus the first times derivative of the second. Notice where the primes are. You never take the prime of f and the prime of g together. It's f prime times g plus f times g prime. Let's use the product rule to find the derivative of x squared times e to the 3x. We're going to use the product rule, of course, because we have two functions multiplied together. So I'm going to write down what those two functions are in a little table here. And in the next column, I'm going to write their derivatives. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of e to the 3x is 3, e to the 3x. Now since we're using the product rule, I'm going to draw the old school symbol for multiplication, which is an x. Now this tells you exactly how to write your final derivative. Just connect the two functions at the tips of the x. So 2x times e to the 3x is one of your components, and then plus x squared times 3e to the 3x. And there's your final answer. There's your derivative. The second rule we're going to go over is called the quotient rule, and this tells you how to take derivative of one function divided by another. The examples here are x squared plus 1 divided by 3x, or 4 to the x divided by 100x cubed. We're going to abbreviate this QR for quotient rule, and it's a little more complicated than product rule. Here's what it is in symbols. T is denoting the top function and B the bottom function, and I'll explain the formula on the next slide. So when you have one function divided by another, a top and a bottom, and you want to take the derivative, here's what you do. You take the derivative of the top times the bottom. So in symbols, that's t prime times b. Minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. In symbols, that is going to be minus t times b prime. All over the bottom squared. Let me show you how to use this in an example. Let's find the derivative of x squared plus 1 divided by 3x. The top is x squared plus 1, and the bottom is 3x. So we're going to need the quotient rule. So the first part of the quotient rule tells you to take derivative of the top. Derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x, so that's what goes here. And then it's the regular bottom. You leave the bottom alone. Minus the top times derivative now of the bottom which is just 3, all divided by the bottom squared. And that's it. 